Hi, in this video we're going to look at drawing bar models from an algebraic expression and then explain what's happening in words. Okay, notebooks and pencils ready, let's begin. Okay, we've, here's our algebraic expression, n plus 20, we're going to try drawing a bar model to start with. Let's choose yellow and okay, this is looking like a bar, very good. And then we add 20. I will go with blue. Uh, this is going to be the bit that represents us adding 20. Hopefully you can see that we've got our original number n and we are adding a number onto it. Uh, this bit just a tiny bit longer. Right, now I need to annotate it. So this bit is the n and this bit is the 20. Simple, that's done. Right, how to fill this in and how to understand what's going on in words. I think of a number and add 20. Full stop, simple. That's it. Next example. Drawing bar models, here we've got two very similar looking expressions. U take away 25 and 25 take away U. They're both going to look slightly different. Let's start with a red one for here. And I think I will copy that so I can use that over here as well. Good. Right, now if this is U, the unknown number, or this, uh, this box is U, it's the unknown number, we're then going to take away 25 from it. So to represent that, I'm going to show that I've cut off some of the end and I will need to annotate that part there. That bit is 25. Okay, to work out this bit, I, d I wouldn't normally annotate this, but to work it out if I wanted to, I could do U take away 25 and then that would tell me what that part was. Okay. Um, and over here then, 25 take away U. So now this bit, the whole box is 25, but we're going to take away U from it. So snipping this bit off. And we need to annotate this bit as U. So two different expressions, two different bar models. They do mean different things. If I was going to work this bit out here, it would be 25. Take away this bit, and it gives you this bit. Okay, now we're going to put that into words. So over here for this one, we thought of a number, I think of a number, and I take away 25. With this one though, I think of a number and I take it away from 25. Key difference. Key difference. If you want to go back over another video, then click on the bubble that just appeared and that's going to talk more about how to talk about taking away. Okay, so watch that video for more on that. Next, we've got two very similar looking expressions, 3m plus 8 and 3 brackets m plus 8. Let's have a look at the bar model for those. This is going to be our value for, this is going to be our box for m, and then it says that we need 3 of them because we multiplied by 3. So that's that, and then we're going to add um, the 8 onto it. Let's use this one. Okay, so that's our 8. There we go. Bring them all together. Something like that. Right, now I need to annotate it. So, each one of these red rectangles is M. I'll just annotate the first one and then we should see that all three of them are the same. And this is 8. Okay, that one's done. Time to do the same on the other side. So I'm going 
Okay, so that's going to be our M, and then we need another 8. So, something like that. Very good. Oh. Annotate it. This is M. And then it's had 8 added onto it. And then that whole thing is going to be multiplied by 3. That's why it's all in brackets. Okay. So you can see that we've copied M plus 8 down 3 times. And in the brackets, we had M plus 8. And then all of that was being times by 3. So turning these then into words, or explain them in words. For the first one, I think of a number... I times it by 3 and add 8. I think of a number times by 3 and then add 8. Using the word then just helps to clarify for people what order things have been done in. Okay, and for this one I think of a number I add 8 and then times by 3 because if we took out the word then there might be some confusion people might think that we added 8 and times by 3 or 8 times by 3 people might think we've done m plus 8 times 3 but by putting the word then we definitely get the sense that we've added 8 before we've done any times in by 3. And final example, 3 brackets, 5b take away 9. Let's use purple. Purple is going to be our unknown number. It's going to be b. Okay, so this is b, and then we need 5 of those. Let's just bring that more over there. Okay, five of them. So, one, two, three, three, four, five. Okay, kind of goes off the screen. Let's bring that back. There we go to put you there. Okay. So each one of those is B. That's B being times by 5. Then we need to take away 9. So I'll need to snip off a bit. That's going to represent 9. Okay. So, so far we've done this bit. 5B take away 9. That shouldn't be too much of a surprise. Then the new bit is that we're going to need to multiply the whole thing by 3. So this is where I'm going to need to grab all of this and then copy it. So that goes down there like that. And then again. So times I've times it by three. We can grab out that. Okay, so there we have a bar model for three brackets five B take away nine. How are we going to explain that in words? Well, I think of a number. I times it by 5. That was the first thing that we did. Then take away 9. And then times it all by three. By saying and then times it all by three, it gives us the sense that we're timesing everything that we've just done, the five B take away nine by three. Um, it makes it clear that we're not just taking away nine times three. Okay, that's the end of that video. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.